Uh, so there's a church in Cleveland, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, that loses its religious designation for helping homeless people. Uh, there is a project called the Meta... Oh my god, I have terrible handwriting. Uh, the Met- Metanoia Project, I think is what it's called. Uh, uh, but it's a nonprofit homeless uh, sheltering, sheltering organization. Um, and they partnered with this church, right, uh, to help set up the church as a shelter, which is what you should do. I wholeheartedly believe that uh, church is fucking huge. They have all these rooms and they're empty most of the time. Why not make it into a homeless shelter, right? That just fucking, that just kind of makes sense. It makes sense for what these churches are. Uh, I think, I think if you, uh, being a homeless shelter as a church is the most Christian thing you could fucking do. That is the most Christian thing that you can do, is being a homeless shelter as a church, right? Uh, and when you deny people that, when, when as a church you come out and you say, no, we're not going to be at this homeless shelter, we're not going to do that, uh, I think that's the least Christian thing that you can do. And, so, and a lot of these churches do that, right? A lot of these churches don't open their door to the homeless. I know, I know a couple in Indianapolis that do. Uh, there's a couple of uh, people that I've talked to across the country that have told me that that's one of the things that their church does is open it up to homeless people and, and people that are struggling to help them out. Um, they do exist, but look what happens, right? The establishment basically will come out and say, hey, uh, you're helping people? As it as it uh, 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 you know a tax free organization, no sir, no sir. Religious designation gone. Fuck you, right? Uh, almost like they don't want to fucking help people. You know, it's almost like they don't give a shit about us. Uh, sorry about the bouncing up and down. I'm trying to stabilize this thing. It's been it's being a little wonky. Um, but basically the city officials in the public health department, uh, threatened them and said that they're going to take their religious designation away for what they're doing. Um, saying that it's, it's, uh, it's not safe. Like the public health department thinks it's not safe. Uh, basically this is a notice that says if you help people, you will be punished. That's virtually what they're saying right here. City of Cleveland, the public health officials and the city officials of of the city of Cleveland have basically said that if you try to help people, we will punish you. We will take your religious designation away. We will make sure that there's a bunch of fines on you, right? There's a bunch of laws against the homeless. Like Florida fucking did that. Florida, uh, they they were fining people for like feeding the homeless and stuff. I do that shit all the time. I, I travel with a bunch of food in my car all the time, you know, and I and I always try to feed the homeless uh, if I can leftovers, uh, you know, Nutri-Grain bars, protein bars, nuts, chips, that sort of stuff, water, like, if I, have, if I, like, end up with a bottle of water that I'm not going to use, yeah, please, by all means, you know, like, I have a little bit more, and I'm very happy to help out someone in need, because that, because people have done that for me, one, and two, that's what you're supposed, like, that, we need to fucking help each other, this is a religious organization <laughs> that is being punished for doing a religious thing. That is, they're being punished for, for actually doing what their book tells them to do, for actually being a good religious organization. What a ridiculous thing. Uh, you know, but on the other hand, you know, what Cleveland is doing is very Old Testament, isn't it? It's very Old Testament. It's very wrath of God kind of shit. You know, you didn't do what I wanted you to do. Punishment! Send down the plagues! As a public health official. That's what, that's what their plague is. Their plague is city officials and public health officials. Outrageous. Hey folks, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. Uh, please share it around because content like this doesn't really get shared around all that often because of the topics that I'm talking about. 
Uh, and if you enjoyed these videos, you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy as well. Uh, I talk a lot about the similar topics, similar stories, um, address a lot of issues and philosophy in my stand-up. Uh, so I'm going to be on tour all across the country this year, uh, working uh, on, on my new show. Uh, so if you are in New York City, uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, Portland, Maine, Burlington, Vermont, Middlebury, Vermont, uh, Bridgewater, Vermont. I'm going to be coming to your city in the next few weeks. You can go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Grab your tickets, RSVP to these events, and come hang out with me. Uh, while you're on my website, you can also become a patron to help content like this uh, and become a, a, a pretty much a people sponsor of the show. Uh, go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha uh, to check out all the tiers and the rewards and uh, all the fun stuff that you'd be supporting. Uh, and my website's going to be updated soon to include a bunch of uh, alternative sustaining membership options as well. But again, if you want to come see me live, you can check out all of my tour dates because I'll be touring all across the country this year uh, at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Thanks so much for checking out this video and we'll see you on the road.